Hello children and welcome back to Talks from Uncle Trev. Now last week we started a new series. It was all about eggs and we looked at some fertilised eggs that hatched into chicks. Can you remember? And we found out that God is the giver of life. Now this week we're going to look at normal eggs. In fact, I've got a couple that I've just picked up from our hen house up in the garden. Would you like to have a look at them? They're just normal eggs. There's this one over here, and there's this one over here. And I got both of them from the coop. But here's the thing. One of them is real, and one of them is fake. One of them is pretend. It's not a real egg at all. Now, can you work out which is the real egg and which is the pretend, the fake egg? Let me show you them both. There they are. Which one is real and which one is fake? They both look really similar, don't they? If you look at them closely, they both are the same shape. They're both the same colour. They're around about the same size. They've both got mud on them. And if I feel them on my cheek, both of them are really smooth. They both look like real eggs, but only one is real. The other is fake, it's pretend. Hmm. Now, can you think of a way I can work out which one is real and which one is fake. You have a think about that for the moment. Jesus had a lot to say in the Bible about what was real and what was fake, what was good and what was bad. For example, he would talk about a tree. If a tree was good, you'd know it was good because it would have good flowers on it and eventually it would have good fruit on it. So for example, a nice rhododendron tree like this has got beautiful rhododendron flowers on it. And after the flowers go, we get a fruit that gets left behind. Think about an apple tree. An apple tree has lovely blossom on it, isn't it? And then when the blossom goes, you're left with the beautiful fruits that we can take and eat. That's how you know if it's real or not. Jesus said, by your fruit, you will know them. And if somebody really is a follower of Jesus, then they'll have the fruit of Jesus growing on them. Okay, children, back to the eggs. Which one is real and which one is fake? How is Uncle Trev going to decide? Can you think of a really good test that I can use to decide which one is real and which one is fake? What's that? You want me to drop them on the floor? Oh, that's a good idea. Uncle Kenny might not be happy, but here goes. Shall I start with this one? I'm going to drop it on the floor. What's going to happen? Did you see that, children? It was solid. It's a solid egg. It's not real at all. It's made out of rubber. We put this egg in the chicken coop to trick the hens into where to lay their eggs. It's not real at all. It's fake. But what about this one? Is it real or fake? Here goes. That was definitely real. That is a real egg. I'm sorry, Uncle Kenny. We've wasted an egg, but we've proved the point. The test of a real egg is whether or not it's got a yolk inside. And that one certainly has. You see, children, some people believe that being a Christian is just like looking like a Christian. 
going to church, carrying your Bible, saying the right things, even maybe saying your prayers. But really, it's all outward. It's all false. It's not real at all. The only real test, if you're a follower of Jesus, is what's in your heart, is what's in your life. Do you have Jesus living inside you? Do you have Jesus in your heart? That's what a true follower of Jesus will have. And if you have Jesus living in your life, if he's at the heart of your life, then you will start to become more like Jesus. That's what we call the fruit. You'll become more like him. You'll become more gentle, more kind. You'll become more patient with other people. You'll become more content with your life. You'll love the things that Jesus loves. You'll love his people more, but you'll also hate the things that Jesus hates. You'll hate to disappoint him. You won't want to sin anymore or disobey him. You'll become more like him. So the real test, if you're a follower of Jesus, it's not what you look like on the outside, it's what's happened inside your life. Have you got Jesus living inside you? Children, been great talking to you again. I hope you have a really good week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Enjoy your eggs. Bye for now.